are the pipelines in the United States currently? Uh, Canada to the United States, you have a pipeline from Edmonton to Puget Sound, Edmonton to Guernsey, Edmonton to Detroit, Montreal to Chicago, Regina to Guernsey, Calgary to Barstow, Fort Nelson to Melford, Goldboro to Westbrook, Medicine Hat to Tuscola. Tuscola is in my district, um, just to point that out. Medicine Hat to Billings, Quebec to New Jersey, Toronto to Boston, Toronto to New York, Winnipeg to Omaha, Winnipeg to Detroit, Edmonton to Windsor. Now we have two pipelines that are flowing from the United States to Canada. Portland to all. That's a long distance. Portland, another one from Portland to Montreal. Prudhoe Bay to Edmonton. From Mexico to the United States, Reynosa to El Paso. Folks, this isn't stuff we haven't done before. There is a system by which we approve pipelines. And the, especially the ones that, are, it, so the, my point is this is not new. And we do it for the public interest and the public good to make sure that we have a free flow of oil and refined products, environmentally safe. Can you imagine if all that product was moving by truck or by train? This is such a ridiculous debate that I'm, that I, it, it, I it's just furious that we don't understand how much product flows by pipeline today and the environmental benefits of that, but here we're demagoguing one pipeline to make us more energy secure.